and welcome to Stand Up Diaries, entry 91. And this one's called Clean Material. And I have the F word crossed out and the C word crossed out. And uh, every uh, Saturday so far I've been doing this open mic. And it's a mu music open mic and the audience is older. You know, it's older people playing folk songs. The vibe is very positive and light. And I just can't bring myself to talk about anal sex in front of these people. It just seems way out of place. It does not seem like what the room needs or wants. So I've actually been doing stories. They're not quite punchy yet, but they'll become better about clean topics, you know, things about your childhood or your family or, you know, just general observations that you make about the world that don't have, uh, you know, as a racy uh, undertone to it. So I've actually been enjoying that because it kind of is another tool in my arsenal and if I ever want a paid gig at a corporate act where they're like, okay, no F words or no swearing or try to like, you know, you maybe you can talk about sex but don't go too graphic or things like that, I'll be able to say, yes, actually I'm totally down and I totally have 20 or 30 or 45 minutes of clean material but it all starts with your first five and ten and you build up to that so there's never a bad time to start writing clean material and it's been advice that I've kind of was given not that long ago uh, with somebody where they're like you know what clean material is just a very marketable thing and uh, it's very difficult to earn you know a living doing stand-up comedy so why shortchange yourself you know there's there's nothing wrong with trying to be as broad and diverse of a comedian as you can be and I think it's also a little bit of a challenge is to try to do some of that material because it's not what I've naturally done but I think it's very easy when you're a new comedian to talk about things that are racy and shocking because it's just what you know everyone can relate to sex everyone swears you know well most people do but in order to get uh, to that next level I think it is good to challenge yourself and take out some of those words that make uh, laughs a bit easier for you to get so, you know, that's to cheers to clean material, I guess you could say. And uh, this has been your next edition of Stand Up Diaries. Maple the Lovebirds made her appearance, and have a wonderful day.